Hi everybody, Cindy Arter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. What I've got here, this is, it's actually what I have finally decided is a completed journal. This is one of the Canson Mixed Media XL journals. And when I started this journal, I basically started it just playing around, doing different techniques. I'm going to bring out a little bit. Um, just doing different techniques and just playing. So I considered this my play journal. And what you're going to see in here is my play. There's some completed pages. There's some that are not. Um, it's just all kinds of goodies. So, of course, the front, I, I had to play around with, um, you know, washi tapes and all that stuff. And what I do with my covers like this is once they're done, see that shiny? I just cover them with um, packing tape. And it works out really well. This is an envelope someone had sent to me. Um, Happy Mail. And I love that envelope, so I decided to hang it there. Again, this is just play. Some of it's done. Some of it's not. Um, this one just says playing with alcohol inks. Something to play. One of the girls I drew. Another girl I drew. These were quite a while ago. I think these were like three years ago, back in 2016. Playing with stencils, playing with some paint. This is this magic moment. <laughs> these were actually test girls that I did. Um, I was actually playing with pastels. I really messed up her down here, but you know, oh well. Um, but I was playing around with pastels, and I just I wasn't sure if I liked the feeling of them or not, and it was different. It was fun. Just interesting to play. Again, just, you know, playing around. These are Gina Aaron's. Um, this is an ATC that I made, Experience Enthusiasm. This is a Julia Nutting Prima, Prima doll, and she's coming out. So guess what we're going to do? That's one thing about using glue and not matte medium. Sometimes things don't stay down. But usually when I'm done with these, I'll, I'll, you know, put them up and put them up on a shelf. This is a comic um, that I found some book, and <laughs> I wrote, yay! And the boxes say, Jerry's Artorama and Dick Blick. And the guy is saying, more art stuffs? More art supplies? And then this girl says, of course, you can never have enough. <laughs> I don't know. Playing around with a stencil here. Um... The Unknown Waiting for You to Discover. Um, this is a dear friend of mine, um, Aaron Blazevich, uh, that um, I met in Vegas, and this is just some of the fun stuff that was around that we took pictures of. Create and Imagine. This is just a cutout from a magazine. And then I cut a butterfly in half and gave her the wings. Oops, missed a page. John Wayne, Possibilities. Uh, this was actually sent to me by someone that, that drew it, and I don't remember who, but it's I thought it was really cool. This Idaho um, sticker was sent to me, I believe, by Wendy Ewing. Again, more play. I would just get this journal out and just start playing with stuff, and then go from there and make backgrounds. This is a postcard that I just fell in love with. Um, let me bring you guys, see if I can, sorry. There you go. Um, I just fell in love with this, and it just decided to go there. Little pocket, again, this is an envelope that um, somebody had sent me this poppy paper. I thought it was really cool. Little bug that had been drawn on paper. This was a car, um, tag that I had made for something. It says, I really need a day between Saturday and Sunday. So that just stuffs in that pocket. Um, play. This, uh, somebody had sent to me that piece, and I just thought it looked cool there, and then I did some funky doodling around it. Um, this is a stamp. I did some journaling, and it says, Tears are words the heart can't say. So, yeah, that was a hard day. 
Uh, this is the front of a card. It says, happiness is a butterfly when, pers when pursued is just out of grasp. But if you will sit quietly, it may, it may alight upon you. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Um, this, I honestly don't remember where I got this. I know I cut it out from something. And I just played around with here. And it says, every day is a fashion show and the world is your runway. Again, more stencil play. Just playing around with colors and stencils. and <laughs> Another crazy girl I drew. More journaling. A lot of journaling. Like I said, this was my just play around journal. This, what happened is I had this ink splat on here. And this is what I saw out of that ink splat. Was this girl. So I decided to make draw her out. This is a um, Gina Aaron's uh, stencil that I did with some uh, modeling paste. Same with this one. Again, just playing around background. Um, this says pop open the ketchup. Apparently this was a deli thing. Yummy life. Fire grilled wishes and bottomless dreams. And kindness. And then this is a um, Diane Reevely stamp set this and this so again just played around with the pages this is just a piece of watercolor paper I was messing around on this was sent to me and I can't read the the um, signature but right here's the signature and it was done in 2016 and I just absolutely love her I think she's awesome This is out of a magazine, a picture out of a magazine that I just thought really cool went to that page. <laughs> More drawings. Again, I was just messing around, just playing around, seeing what I could do. Um, that's it, just messing around. This also was sent to me by that same girl a couple pages ago, and these are just beautiful. Um, I planned on doing some journaling right here, apparently, but that didn't get done. This, upside down, don't know why. Here's a sticker, and then this little chicken. I thought it was kind of cool. But yeah, these pages, um, it's not like I sat down and just did a page. I'd come in and play around and doodle for a while, and then I'd flip pages and do maybe glue for a while or whatever. Um, nobody sees a flower, really. Again, just doodling and playing around. This is actually a piece of wallpaper border, is what that is. Get stretchy. It's good for your mind, body, and soul. And I do have to say, um, for a while, when I was up in New York, I was doing this yoga. Um, I did a 40-day retreat with yoga. I have never felt so good in my life, and I miss it horribly. Believe me, just Cindy. Again, just playing around. This is... Um, it's actually a cutout, so that's somebody's stamp. I think it might be Gina's, maybe. Not sure. Again, see, some of these pages, to me, just don't make any sense. This one doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But, you know, I sat here and I was going through the book, and I'm like, you know what? This this book is done. I'm not going to do anything more to it. I'm just going to leave it as is. Count your blessings. Um, this is a piece of photograph paper that I was playing around with alcohol ink on and punched out. Uh, happy make it happen this was a tag that I had made for something this is just a piece of tissue paper I decided to play around color some not others um, this was a stencil all the yellow that you see it was a stencil from stencil girl products and once I did the stencil in yellow I just decided to start doodling and there's a bunch of words on here artistic light imagine um, you are inspired, create, five miles, I don't know what that means, um, love what you do, play, be you, imagination, create from your soul. And then I just doodled in a lot of the, I don't know, must be I was tired there. 
but yeah, it's fun. This page I thought was really cool. Um, there's a whole bunch of eyes on here. Whole bunches and bunches of eyes. This was, you know, some washi tape. Again, some stencil. This looked like more like a stencil wipe off. Um, just playing around with ink. And I found this in a magazine. I thought, you know, that's perfect. Creativity as a path to self-discovery. And I thought it was perfect for those pages. Um, this girl, no idea. Oh my gosh. I did these little bitty lines. See all those little bitty lines? Yeah, I can tell you that is the one and only time you'll see that. What a pain in the butt that was. To do the whole page in them little lines. Nope. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> she's done. Um, again, playing with paint, washi tape, white pens, piece of um, stencil, jelly printed, however. And then just this little heart with wings on it. This is a um, pap papyrus paper that's made in Egypt and I was sent this piece of paper and it was so beautiful I didn't want to do anything with it. I didn't want to tear it apart or you know mess with it in any way. So what I did is I just basically I cut off the edges put them here and then this is the information that came um, with the paper and it says the papyrus plant a symbol of Upper Egypt was used to produce the world's finest paper. The stem is sliced thin, soaked in water, pressed together, and dried, forming a quite durable paper. The designs are taken from royal tombs and temples found throughout Egypt's discoveries. Egyptian Imports, 1994. And I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. It needed its own, its own place. Um, this is something I... See, there's that glue stuff again. Um, something that I drew in some little sketchbook I decided to throw in here. This is a, I believe, Jane Davenport napkin. And then these pieces just ended up on here. And I thought they looked cool. These are out of magazines. This is not my art. It's out of a, either a Somerset Studio or an art journaling magazine. Hmm. <laughs> This little guy here, and it says, just because you are alone doesn't mean you are not loved. And then these are Diane Reevely's that I played around with, and it says, passing of time. Um, a lot of play, a lot of paint and stencil, and um, just, just playing around again. Uh, this says, you will never... You will never have this day again, so make it count. Again, a piece out of a magazine. Same here, a piece out of a magazine. Playing around, you know, wiping off stencils, that kind of stuff. This, I, I kind of had fun with this page. This was one of the nights, probably I was sitting watching a movie or something and messed around with it, but it says Fueled by Coffee, and it says Me, Myself, and I. <laughs> and Coffee, and then I have this really... Funky looking girl here. And uh, then this was a washi, I believe, that I used. It was fun. Um, these pages, they, as far as I'm concerned, they're complete. These are actually stencils um, of mine that I was trying out. I wanted to see what they look like. And there's a bunch of them throughout here. This is another one of my stencils. This one here in the black. Um, but yeah, I just, I left them as is. Again, it's a play journal. This was when everybody was doing that string pull. Um, I did it on actually a dictionary page, dictionary pages, and they just looked like such a beautiful array of flowers, so that's where they ended up. You know, I thought about defining them, but I think if you look at them, your, your mind will see what you need to see to know that they're flowers. Um, stencil play. This is just a hand I found in a magazine. Stuck it down here and then I've got, these are um, doodles that I do. Sometimes at night I'll take a dictionary and go out and um, I use the Elegant Writers because I do like that smear. And then I'll just, I'll just play around and color them and cut them out. These two pages, um, again, they're just kind of a mishmash of all kinds of things, but I had fun with it. Um, playing with stencils, 
um, stamps, whatever the case may be. Same here, this has got a little bit of uh, just collage to it and then I've got this, I don't know, with this light bulb. No idea. I was thinking something. These two pages I wanted to leave as is. This is just um, playing around with a stencil, <laughs> with bird stencils. And I just, I like the way it is. Again, more stencils. These colors are actually the 12 shades of gray um, that I got at Jerry's Artorama. I can't remember the brand, the brand name. But yeah, it was fun playing around with these colors and just see, you know, what they were. They just had these tints to them, like this was a gray tint, a red tint, a green tint, a brown tint. It was just kind of cool. Uh, this I actually did a video on quite a while ago, a long time ago. And this actually came on an envelope that um, I had been sent happy mail. And I just could not get rid of her. I couldn't throw her away. I couldn't whatever. So I stuck her in here. And for a long time she was here by herself. And then one of the days I decided I needed to use up some words that I had. And I put all of these words in here um, that um, they connected with me. I felt they connected with me. So those are really cool. Oops. This page, again, just playing around with colors. Um, I do have an outline of a hand traced here, but I decided I didn't want to do that, so I just left it alone. Uh, this gal, I played around with some washi tape, just messing around with her, did create. This page says it all. <laughs> it's just blank and free. These pages were napkins and tissue paper. Um, this one was the, the arrow and heart tissue paper. And underneath, I'm not sure I had painted something. And I didn't like the paint, so I started laying tissues over it. But there's also on here, if you see, there's um, feathers. Again, this is one of my stencils. Um, and if you're interested, um, I have to I have to get some pictures to her, but um, pretty soon I'll be able to give you guys a link as to where to find them. This again is not another one of my stencils that I was playing with on top of a napkin. Just messing around. My stencils, these are all my stencils. Um, all of them, this one here. Just again, just messing around with them, seeing what they looked like and that kind of stuff. This, I have only, I have no idea. It says, if only they could talk. No idea what I was thinking. Kind of cool though. <laughs> this one I love. I, I, this picture I found in a magazine. Um, these, this stencil, I can't remember where that stencil came from, but a bunch of stencils on here. And I just, I love the way she's looking. She almost looks like she's in, in thought. And what I put on here is, it will be okay, give it time. And that was, I'm sure that was a really bad pain day. But. This, um, I had a bunch of letters left over on a letter sticker thing. So I decided to throw them all on here. That's it. Um, playing around with stencils again. These are my stencils. Messing around with some different paints. Um, this is a um, stencil girl stencil, and again, I was just messing around with it. <laughs> a doodle page. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I'm not a huge fan of this kind of doodling. It, to me, it just, it drives me crazy. If I have to do something over and over and over and over and over, it just, it's not for me. Um, let's have fun. This guy came off, I think, a cereal. I can't remember the name of it. This is Schmanky. Um, this came off some watercolors. Crayola. <laughs> just fun. This is a Jenny Belly. Um, many years ago when I first started doing mixed media, I actually ordered a, like a little kit from her 
and these ladies were in it and I just I absolutely love them and it says time for a drink this one here um, the same thing happened that did quite a few pages ago is I put all this this ink down and this is what I saw so I decided to draw her and just kind of I don't know put her there so uh, a couple girls I was messing around with just drawing this is a piece out of a magazine. I just thought this was really beautiful. I can't remember who created this, but they're very, very talented. I love it. Um, this is just a napkin in the background. I just thought that piece was really stunning. Um, out of a magazine, no idea where, what. It just says grow, and then here's a um, tag with a little sticker on it. This one here it just says keep it real. I thought that was a really cool picture. My little star, that's probably from Supernatural. It's a TV show. Um, this one says this month, and it I, I just put a bunch of things to do. Just play, make marks, splash paint, use a brayer, finger paint, write in ink, use colored pencils, use all colors, glue some paper got punches use them use all markers go for it uh, got foil use it I don't know what I was thinking apparently and again just playing around with paint and scribbles and doodles and whatever on uh, these pages I was actually testing out um, eye zinc and if you haven't seen eye zinc before let me grab it real quick what it is it's this they call it glitter paint um, and what it is is it's it's a glitter that when you put it through a stencil it's just like this no glitter comes off it there's no glitter whatsoever that comes off it and it it's dimensional so um, my our local uh, scrapbook shop here it's called scrapbooks by the sea has this eye zinc and I this the day I was down there um, I had my journal for an art journal club class and I bought one of these and I was like I gotta try that so I tried it in this journal it dries pretty quick um, like I said you don't get glitter everywhere glitter doesn't come off on you anywhere and it's just really a cool product it's called eye zinc they have quite a few colors um, here's a teal and I just happened to grab teal and Oh, this might be black. I can't really tell. It might be black. Yep, that's black. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's what this is. And it says we are all a little broken, but broken crayons still color. Mostly I just sit around all day being fabulous. And life is hard. Your art shouldn't be. Stamps messing around. This is just a little card I had started making, probably an ATC or something. And I put this little alligator clip on here, and it says, Time flies, so fly with it. This is washi tape that I had made, of, you know, myself, and just same thing here. Just fun. Um, this page is what it is. <laughs> um, says, To do, eat the cake, get on with it, and live, laugh, and love. And then this is just a uh, stamp of a birdie. I think that's a Dina Wakely. Um, this one, I, I don't know. I had these two little birdies here. I thought they were kind of cool. This is this is embossed paper that I tore up and put in here. Some washi tape, a teapot. I have no idea. Um, a bunny. This says, peace, abundant life, live simply, precious things, still breathe, beautiful. You know, it's, again, these are just my play, this is just a play journal. Um, the green that you see is more my, my stencils, um, just because I was running out of room to play with them. This, again, is one of those pulls, and in this one, I see a dancing couple, but 
I don't feel like I have the talent enough to bring out what I see in them, so I just kind of outlined them a little bit. This one I didn't do anything. But yeah, these are, again, more of my stencils. This one, you can tell exactly how I was feeling that day. <laughs> um, this wouldn't surprise me if it was after a doctor's appointment. Um, because when I go there, I don't really get good news, and it just kind of sucks. So, come, you know, I come home and I journal it out. This, again, is the Dina Wakely um, tissue paper, which I think is really cool. And then this came out of a magazine, and that was just exactly how I was feeling. Um, this gal, oh gosh, I drew her a long time ago. You know, just playing around, messing around, seeing if I can get something that looked kind of like a human. <laughs> Oh, uh, more of my drawings. Just a sketch pen playing around. Um, same here. I don't know. Just, just having fun. Says my life is a journey. Um, yeah. There's just this has got canvas and fabric, and I sewed it with some tissue paper. And it's just got a couple metal pieces on it with this map. I just thought it was kind of cool. Um, same here. Again, this is this is actually old, old, old art. When I very first started doing mixed media, I was using um, Diane Reevely's spray paints, um, a sketchbook, and a bunch of stamps. And I just had a blast with it. And I just put perspective. Um, play, paint play. I uh, found this really cool picture in a magazine. I loved it, so I decided to put that there. I think it was cool. Um, again, more paint play. I had this great big camera I thought was cool. I thought about coloring it, and I didn't really... I like it just the white, but so I decided to put her next to it. I don't know. don't know what I was thinking. Just having fun. Um, this page, play. Just a lot of play. There's a lot of paint on here. Um, some glitter. That glitter comes off. Um, I don't know. I just was messing around. This was one of my zone days, I think. I love to just start playing and just wonder what I end up with, you know. But that's that. Um, wherever you go, there you are. This was just something that I had cut out of a magazine or a newspaper something and I just I like that this is a really really old um, picture from on a calendar and I just could not get rid of it I just couldn't so I kind of tr I cut it out as best I could and then the pa the page that's already painted behind it it was already that way so I thought that picture looks absolutely perfect on this background. So that's what that is. And here's the signature of the artist. I have no idea who it is, but like I said, it's a, it was on an old calendar. So that was fun. <laughs> Love this stencil. And I just, now what? <laughs> you go around and around and around. Now what? Uh, this is again one of those comics. I don't really do much to this one. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, there. Again, this is more of that 12 shades of gray paint that I was using um, from Jerry's. That's really cool paint. It, it's just very mute colors, which is great. Um, Peace and Calm, I have no idea. This page has been in here forever. No clue. And then this is the back cover. Um, and again, this was, you know, all kinds of Mod Podge of stuffs. And then the back. Alright, so I think the message I want to get across from this flip through is when you're doing your journals, they don't all have to be complete masterpieces of pages. Mess around in your journals. I mean, I can come back and look at this and say, oh yeah, I remember when those, you know, I got those stencils. Those are really cool. Oh, this is one of mine also. You know, it's not like, you know, this page to me was just perfect. I just, 
it's okay to leave that white space. It's okay to just have one image. It's okay to just play. And again, that's what this journal has been for me. Um, I need to get another one so I can have another one just like it to play in. But um, yeah, that's the message for this video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.